Hi everybody, welcome to Henry's Blues and Boogie Woogie Piano Videos. It's been a while since I did a tutorial, um, so I'm going to do a little refresher here called 10 licks every Boogie Woogie player must know. So this is 10 core key licks that should, should be in your um, repertoire if you're going to be playing Boogie Woogie. So um, let's get to it. Hello. So this here is um, what we would call the basic boogie in the left hand. The left hand is what it's all about for this kind of music. And so we put our little finger on the C and our thumb on the G and then we just play this. And what I'm doing there is keeping my little finger on the C thumb on the G and then my thumb moves up to the A yeah so it goes like this <laughs> here's number two which is a variation on this one um, we're putting our hand in the same place but instead of striking the keys like this we are rocking backwards and forwards in this motion so our little finger goes on the C and our thumb goes on the G like that and then our little finger goes back to the C and our thumb up to the A. So we get this movement going on. Yeah. And then when we go around the chords, it goes like this. little finger on the C, our thumb goes on the G and we hit them twice like this. Yeah, and then our middle finger goes on to the E flat and then it slides down onto the E. So the whole thing is like this. we go round and round the houses it goes like this again slightly more complex and we're going to put some more notes in this is called the walking bass line and because that's what it does it walks up and down the notes and it goes like this we start with our little finger on the C then we hit the E then we hit the G then the A and then the B flat Like this. 
which is more complex again. And we are playing the same thing that we just played, but we're playing it in octaves. And an octave is the space between two notes like this. This is a C, and this is also a C. And play them together, we get an octave. So the, the, the pattern that we just played, we're going to play it again in octaves. So we're going to do it like this. C with the octave up the top. Instead of hitting the octaves twice like this, hitting them in one go, we flick from one to the other like this. So C, C octave, C, C octave, and then we do C, C octave, B, e, B e octave, G, G octave, A, A octave, B flat. Johnson have all done their version of this one and you'll hear it a lot, a lot of rock and roll music. Little finger on the C, hit it again, then hit the E, back to the C, G, back to the C, A, G. Structure around the houses it goes like this. 
given in to some of the stuff that Albert Hammond's Midlux Lewis would have played back in the day. Um, this here is, is more chord based, so we have our little finger on the C, and then we make a chord with the E and the G. So we hit that, and them together. And then we hit the C again, and we move up and make another chord with the F. Alternate, we rock backwards and forwards so like this. Yeah. And you can play this one really fast, like. jazzy, jazz-influenced boogie-woogie pieces, mainly by Oscar Peterson, who used this a lot. And in some of the Western swing boogie-woogie stuff, like Moon Mulligan, those guys, Meryl Moore, and um, Little Finger on the C, then our thumb on the octave C, then we hit the E, F, F sharp, G, then this G down the bottom, Really slowly, it goes like this. So when we put it all together, all around the structure, it goes like this. think you've learned something from this and you think you appreciate the video then please feel free to donate to the channel with the PayPal link in the video description but for now I'm just going to leave you with this tune.